All right, so one of the other videos that uh, somebody had asked about and I thought I would go ahead and make was um, maybe um, exploring the cave a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and explore Spider Cave a little bit as a bonus video. Uh, one of the things I did do, I'm here in my stone quarry, and I wanted to head over to the cave, but it was dark. So one of the things I did um, kind of off screen is I decided to dig a tunnel from quarry all the way over to Spider Cave. So I thought I'd show you that. I dug down here uh, quite a ways just to get up underneath the sand. And then I used my compass to try to figure out exactly where I was in relationship to the cave and then my stone quarry. That down there is kind of underneath my spawn point. I don't know if I'll do anything with that yet or not. And then down to this is mostly a cave. Eventually what I'll do is something with this because it's just all gray and kind of plain. I might try to figure out a way to make this look a little better as I come through here. Um, I did mine out some ore as I went by. I think there was some coal here. And then I kept going and this is heading towards Spider Cave. And then this broke pretty luckily right into Spider Cave. I did cover this up a little bit so I wouldn't have things drop them on me immediately, but this leads out of Spider Cave, where how we first saw it, and then this leads down to Spider Cave. And I think eventually I still need to make this staircase look a little better. Um, but I'll continue down. One thing you have to remember about going into caves you've already explored, don't ever assume that they're still safe. Um, I've often come down here and have been met by skeletons who have spawned. Okay, so part of the excavation of Mob Trap, which was down that tunnel, but I also built a back passage here to get to the back of my spawner, which is happening behind this wall, in case I ever wanted to see it. I found a branch of Spider Cave down this way, which I began to look and tunnel out a little bit, and I also found some back that way. So I was digging out here, and I wanted to go ahead and finish exploring this. So here we go. This is the top part of a spider cave that I didn't even know was here. And I'll try to place many torches to keep you guys lighted, probably more than I normally would, but I know YouTube kind of darkens my videos up. So I've got some coal and ore there I want to get, but I want to be sure that the way is safe. So if it continues, it can't continue too much further up. It'll be at the surface at some point. Go ahead and put that there. And it appears we're at a branch. Wow. Okay. So let me go back and get this ore. This appears to be safe at the moment. I've been finding a lot of iron lately, which. I've been using actually for tools. A lot of times I just use stone, but uh, since I've been finding so much iron, I've decided to use up some of it for some better tools. So that has been very useful. Just make sure there's no more there. And coal is always good because I've been doing a lot of smelting. Um, so I'll need some of this and even more iron, which is awesome. So once I, uh oh, where does that go? Broke into one of my walls here. I wonder what that is. Um, I know one of the requests also is to, oh, that's right. I was digging um, my tunnel down to my mob spawner and I had hollowed this out. That's what this is, where I had found a bunch of coal. Um, I do know I need to eventually get a lot deeper to get to the better stuff, and I know some of the viewers have actually mentioned, you know, go down and get some diamonds. And I do plan to do that. Um, I'm not in a huge rush at the moment because I just want to explore the world a lot, and I don't want to jump into the hell portion quite yet, although I know, I know people are looking to see that. There's not, I haven't seen too many videos, I guess, out there, but I haven't really looked for them either. Um, Alright, so that looks good. 
I do have some other videos that I want to go ahead and do. I want to do a couple of tutorial videos. And I have um, a few friends that I'm going to go ahead and put together some some fun videos, I believe. Um, things like uh, you know different adventures and um, just having fun in different maps, doing uh, maybe different rule sets and things like that. I think I got all that. Now, again, I'm just getting all this coal just because... I don't know, I don't like to leave ore behind for whatever reason. I see I watch a lot of videos and I watch guys run by stuff like this all the time and I just I know they've got plenty of it. And in fact I found so much now that I'm beginning to think to leave some of it behind. But uh a little more there. I guess it gives me time to explain kind of my ideas. Um I do have more of the survival series still coming. I have to explore um the different oh. directions. Shouldn't have found there. I've already done north, which you've already seen, and I've released, but I do want to head east, west, and south still. To just kind of give me an idea of where I'm going to be. I also want to have a couple ideas to show people on how to uh, do some different types of mines. Uh, maybe strip mining, um, opportunity mining, um, branch mining, I'm trying to think of the other ones I was thinking of. Those are the ones I was going to showcase in a video coming up. Alright, so we got that. Got that more. Good. Let's keep going. And I'll cut some out if uh, this runs too long. Well, I'm going to go down this left branch first and see what we got. So lots more light. Wow, it's amazing. I need torches. Some sticks. I do plan to put out a tutorial session pretty soon, which is going to be more for um, a beginner to Minecraft. I'll explain a lot more what I'm doing and probably move a little slower. For those that the the Rage More series so far has been a lot more about um, kind of geared towards people that probably have already played, although I have explained some things here and there. Um, I guess the idea is that most of the people that w might be watching it have already played Minecraft, so they kind of know what they're getting into. Oh, this is a lot of iron, but I do want to do some more that are um, based for beginners. This is probably the most iron I've found in a natural cave system. This is going to be great. I think I've found so much that I might actually do some railroad tracks or something. Because you can make quite a few tracks using the iron. And then I can make rail cars and different things like that. Alright, so that was a dead end now. Um, so I'm good there. A lot of times, I just leave that. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll explore a little bit before I mine. Oh, another. What is that? It's like a hole in the wall. All right, nothing to get through there, so I'll get this. And I'm not too far down, which is amazing. Usually I, I feel like I want to go deeper to find the good ore deposits, but a lot of this stuff seems to be not too far from the surface. I bet if I dug straight up, it wouldn't be that far. Can't really see that there. Remember, try not to dig straight down. Try not to dig straight up. Well, I have done it every now and then. Alright, so continue on. Break through. It's a little room with some iron. 
So this looks like the end of the upper branch of the hidden spider cave mine. So let's go down and let's go to the bottom side. I could get rid of this water using my buckets, but I don't know. I kind of like leaving streams and things. I don't like to take it if I don't really need to. I'm building a better passage down. I would bring a lot of tools here. the bottom of the cave. So let's explore this. Again, I am putting torches a little closer than I probably would if I was just playing normally without recording. I'm just trying to keep it lit enough that the video turns out better. Hate fighting skeletons from oh, I think they fell. Chunkin. I keep finding more and more natural king. Alright, this cave system is much bigger, so I think I'm going to leave this for a second bonus video of Exploring Spider Cave. Thank you for joining.